Hello everybody and welcome. Today I'm going to check out Play Mechanic Simulator. This game is still in early access, but it's actually a really well put together game. The team that uh, made it is fairly small, looks like a couple of guys from Poland, but they did a really good job of modeling these World War II era iconic RAF aircraft. And like I said, it's still in early access, so a couple of planes and features are still missing, but it's well on its way to being a really good mechanic simulator, similar to car mechanic simulator, and I come to enjoy it a lot. And this game is constantly on sale, even with full price, it's, uh, I think it's uh, worth everybody's time who are into these kind of games. So, let's go ahead and check it out. And there should also be a summer update pretty soon, which uh, fixes some of the issues. Uh, for example, there is no way to invert mouse, which I normally use, but anyway. These are just some minor issues, and the game is using Unity Engine, so it's not the best optimized one. But for the most part we get 60 FPS. I also tried this game with the highest settings, but with some of these features uh, on the highest quality, I think the game looks even worse a little bit. So, kinda like my sweet spot here. But anyway, let's go ahead and start a new game. Alright, let's go with something British. Well, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Captain Picard goes back in time and does his part for the war effort. And time limits, there are a couple of missions that are timed and expert mode, I don't really know what this does, but let's go with it. And here are the planes available right now. And we are going to start with the Tiger Moth, good old trainer. And this was also the trainer in Cliffs of Dover, IL-2 Sturmovic. And the Havilland Mosquito, this plane was a beast. And these planes are coming soon. I'd actually love to see some US warplanes, maybe some German in the future, and also some uh, maybe Russian. Maybe even as a DLC. But uh, modeling these planes on the high quality level that these guys are doing takes time, so no rush there. Alright, let's go ahead and start the game. We get to choose the time of day and also if you want to start on the airfield or in a hangar. Let's go with early in the morning on the airfield. And with the Tiger Moth, that's kind of like the tutorial campaign. May 1940. Training school. Another Ravon airfield. Welcome to RAF Nether Raven. There's a lot of work to do, so let's get straight to it. Oops, wanted to read that. Pilot mentioned power variations in the engine. Looks like a problem with the fuel system. Alright, we have to open up the right engine cowling. And here is our beauty. And at about 50 minutes after takeoff, the engine started randomly losing power, had to turn back and land. After fixing the plane. Please refuel the aircraft as well for the next flight. And looks like we are working for Mark Whitman. Nothing in the inventory, so let's go ahead and fix this plane up. And look at the beauty. Yeah, Unity engine. Not looking too bad, but this is actually our whole world, we cannot leave. Couple of planes flying around. Alright, right engine cowling. Now we get also three modes. You can see on our wrench on in the bottom right corner. With the one, we are in disassembly mode, two is assembly mode, and three is diagnostics. Alright, well, let's open it up. And we can just zoom in and out. And this plane is fairly simple in comparison, but when we are <laughs> disassembling the entire engine, then 
It's also fairly complex machinery right there. Civil fuel system diagnosing fuel filter. It's fine. Magneto timing gears. Air intake pipe. And carburetor. Now, oh, this one is damaged, so we have to disassemble it or get it out. I think first you have to remove the air intake pipe. No. Nope. Yep. It's indicating we have to remove this one first. All we have to do is just click on these screws or bolts. And the guy does it automatically. There it goes. And carburetor. Which carburates. Well, actually, as far as I know, I'm not mechanic, but carburetor vaporizes fuel for the purpose of mixing it with air. And in this process, it also cools the fuel significantly, and sometimes carburetor ice can form, which could lead also to power loss. But anyway, so we got our damaged carburetor. And we can uh, repair it. Also, some parts we can repair, some parts we have to replace. So here we go. One carburetor. It's kind of like a mini game here. You have to click on these yellow spots and hold the mouse until it's in the green area. If we fail to land in the green area, then it uh, will still be maintained but it depends on the quality of the repair quality of our work oh, did i get it i'm not sure about that i think we only got just uh, three of the four right. If we would have got all the four uh, correct or in the green area then we would have a pristine carburetor instead I think we only just get the fine quality. Alright let's go back to assembly mode and put it back in. I can also click on these screws or just hold the mouse and hover over them. Screws, bolts, Click on these and we have to wait until everything is screwed in. If we forget to put something back in then the game will deduct points when we finish our work. And that's it actually. Cowling back in and now we, all we have to do is refuel the aircraft. Between top wings you will need a ladder to access it. Alright, let's get our ladder. And here we go. Yeah, the controls are a little bit finicky sometimes. Have to get used to them. And there is the fuel cap. There we go, and we can just refuel the aircraft. Here we go. It connects the fuel hose right there. Also, say hi to our lady friend. And refuel. Open it up and close it down. Task completed. Alright, pull the hose. And this guy's going to drive away. And everything is installed, everything's fine. Let's remove the ladder back to its original position. Beautiful morning here. We don't have rain. Typical British weather. And I think we are ready. Do we have to screw it back in? No. 
it's already automatically done. So everything is fine. Complete the mission. And we get also some bonus points because we saved some parts instead of just replacing them. And perfect job, Sir Patrick Stewart. Jolly good. Good show, Commander. And continue. Let's do a couple more missions here. Once again, Tiger Moth. Pilot has asked you to replace the wheels. Alright. I don't really want to click on the complete task without having done anything. <laughs> they would send me to an infantry division right away. Alright, get this guy and put it there. Lift it up and now we have to replace the wheels. Yeah, they are damaged. Alright, disassembly mode. Wonder if we can do both at the same time. Actually, let's just do one at a time. I'll go one wheel off. And we're stuck. Sometimes with the lights it can be really hard to see, but we get to move around here, so... Get rid of this guy. And there we go. Cannot repair the wheels manually, so we have to replace them. And replace parts. And put them back on. Assembly mode. I kind of wish this part would be a little bit more interactive. Kind of like in my summer car where, where we have to bolt or screw each individual bolt in manually with the mouse. But uh, later in the game there are a lot of bolts so it could be a little bit cumbersome. So I get it why they went with the clicking option. And wheels are replaced. I think we also need to refuel the aircraft. And get rid of the lift. Take a lift. And put it back in. Now I won't use the ladder, we can just go like this. Easy. And also, I think it does it also automatically when we connect the fuel hose. But let's just do it with full immersion. And open it up. And the wing tanks are full. We've done a fantastic job actually. First remove it. Go get them boys! Alright, and actually we are done, so completed. Perfect job. Alright, what's next? Oh, it's raining now. Welcome to England. According to the log, it's time for oil replacement. Tank was already emptied, so all you need to do is just fill it up. What's that? Looks just like refueling, but you will need to pull the oil Bowser. Super Mario. Alright. Now we need to open up the right engine, or the left engine cowling. No. Yes. And old tank cap. And there's this little guy. Put 
there it goes. That filling the oil above the max point may result in damaging some parts. Alright. Refill the oil. I have to pull this guy. I automatically close the cowling as well. That was easy. I right, put it back and also refuel. Well, let's see if we need to unscrew that guy. No. Does it automatically? I don't know if, if it has to do something with the expert mode or not. Oh, but anyway. Fill it up, please, and wipe the windshield. And great work. Now this is just a trainer. You don't have to do anything with uh, weapon systems. Which in World War II were either bombs or guns. Well, there were also fairly rudimentary rockets. Yeah, but they were insignificant. Complete the job. There we go, Sir Patrick Seward putting in some good work here. So let's go for one more. But the game won't take your hand or hold your hand for long. I think uh, soon we have to do some thinking on our own. Seems to be something wrong with the new oil. Pressure is jumping all over the place. And tank. Cleaned again, refill it and find the cause of the problem. Alright, first we have to refill or first we have to fix? Now let's just open it up and see what's wrong. Maybe it has to do something with the oil filter. There we go. It's damaged. Oh, pressure filter is damaged as well. Magneto. Well, I think for these guys we have to remove some additional elements here. No, sir. No. Okay, let's get rid of this guy. Or maybe also this one. <laughs> no. And also maybe the top engine cowling. Not sure about that. No. Yes. Also screw here. Or bolt, I don't know. Which is the official designation. And I think now we get to replace these guys. Or we can manually repair them. Let's also check out the fuel uh, filter. It's fine. Ignition system, no carburetor. We can repair these guys quickly. Let's go for full success. There is one. And here are the rest. Oh. Did not work. Let's try with, with the pressure filter. <laughs> Too soon. There we 
go. Part restored. And put them back in. We fix the problem with the oil system. I can also put this guy back in. Top engine cowling. And we have to ref uh, refill the oil. There we go. And that's done. Pull the hose. And let's put the cowlings back in. Yeah, if we forget this part, for example, then the game will deduct some points. And it also may lead to additional damage of some parts. Alright, let's that's back in. And here we go. Get rid of this guy. And refuel. All primary task com tests <laughs> tasks completed. Alright. Should we go for another mission? Yeah, let's go for one. But for now... Complete it. Perfect job. Continue carrier. But for this time, we need to go back to the menu. Let's check out the hangar. Well, expert mode is deselected again. I don't know if it does anything at all. So let's go. Nighttime and in the hangar. And it's raining again. So what? What is the assignment today? During morning check, and notice that the propeller isn't tracking correctly. Please fix the problem. Well, Mark Whitman has all kinds of problems with this poor tiger moth. So fix the propeller. Let's check out what's wrong. Spinner is fine, propeller is fine, so you have to open it up. Actually, spinner back plate also fine. Oh, maybe that uh, that's what expert mode does. Doesn't highlight the screws or bolts or yeah, I get it mixed up all the time. A screw hub, yeah, that's the damaged one. And crankshaft. Crankshaft front plate as well, so let's see if uh, if we can repair some things here. No. And also check in the inventory. Repairable? No. So you have to replace that air screw hub. 
And now we can put it back in. Yeah, expert mode. Then won't highlight the all the things we need to put back in. We did not fix the propeller. Something is afoot. Okay, that's one thing. Should work fine, actually. At least I think so. Maybe here are some additional problems as well. No, sir. Or maybe it's also an expert mode that it won't uh, indicate if we are done or not. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, well, okay. I think we are done with the propeller. We'll see. All we have to do now is just refuel. Maybe we have to spin it a couple times. And refuel. Let's see how it's working here in expert mode. Yeah, still does the automatic unscrewing of the fuel intake and it doesn't indicate in expert mode nice so we only find out if we did a good job at the end is it screwed back in yeah looks like it is all right well, let's go for it yeah. Interesting. <laughs> All right. I don't think we will manage to do a perfect job every time on expert mode, but it's a nice challenge. So, this was Plane Mechanic Simulator. I'm going to maybe start a series with it and then work our way up to the Bristol Blenheim bomber or Spitfires, Hawker Hurricanes and I hope in the future we also get a chance to work on some German warplanes BF-109 or the Fokker Wolf 190 also love to see maybe an IL-2 Sturmovic and maybe also a P-51 Mustang 
or even P-47 Thunderbolt all these old iconic aircraft so I guess I see you in the next video and thank you for watching take care